Thank you for choosing Vision Communications as your TV provider. We have created this video to assist you in installing a digital television adapter or DTA to your TV set. Remember, as part of our all digital upgrade, you must install a DTA to every TV in your home that is not already connected to a Vision Digital Converter box. Before installation, please be advised that each DTA will require power, so be sure to locate a power outlet near each TV set that needs a DTA. First, open your box and make sure you have the following items. One DTA, DTA installation instructions, one power cord, one HDMI, and one coaxial cable. The coaxial or coax cable looks like this and is used for standard definition or SDTVs. The HDMI cable looks like this and is used for high definition or HDTVs. Only one of these cables will be used for each TV set, depending on which type of TV that you are connecting your DTA to, SD or HD. Four adhesive fasteners, one remote control, remote control programming instructions, and two AA batteries for the included DTA remote control. If you are missing any of these items, please call us at 985-693-0123. If you have all these items, you are ready to begin your installation. Don't forget that you can pause this video as needed to complete these step-by-step -step instructions. First, insert the AA batteries into the supply DTA remote control. Next, determine whether you are connecting your DTA to a standard definition or high definition TV. A standard definition TV will look like this and have a smaller square screen. A high definition TV will look like this and will have a more rectangular screen. This demonstration video will first walk you through the steps for installing a DTA on a standard definition TV. Next, we'll walk you through the steps for installing a DTA on a high-definition TV. To install the DTA on your standard definition TV, first unplug the coax cable from your TV. This is the one that runs from your wall to your TV, and then plug it in into the port on the DTA that reads cable in. Next, take the supply coax cable and plug one end into your DTA port labeled 2TV and plug the other end into your TV, usually marked antenna in or RF in. This should be the same place your coax cable was previously plugged into. Next, turn on your TV and make sure it is tuned to channel 3. Then set the switch on the back of your DTA to channel 3. Look in your package for the power adapter. Connect the plug to the yellow power port on the back of your DTA like this. Now plug the power adapter into a working electrical outlet, power strip, or surge protector. Once powered, a blinking green light should appear on the front of your DTA like this. If the green blinking light doesn't appear, please make sure your power adapter is installed properly. While the green light on your DTA is blinking, you will see a message on your TV screen that looks like this while the DTA downloads any needed updates. During the update, the DTA may automatically reset by turning itself off, then on again. After the update is complete, your green DTA light may continue blinking and you may see this screen. This is normal. However, if this screen persists for more than 15 minutes without your TV service activating, there may be an issue with your equipment. If so, please call us at 985-693-0123.
Now we'll show you how to install the DTA in a high definition TV. If you don't have a high definition TV, you can skip this section or fast forward this video to the demonstration of pairing your remote control to your TV. To install the DTA on your high definition TV, first unplug the coax cable from your TV and plug it into the port on your DTA that reads cable in. Using the supplied HDMI cable, connect one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the back of your DTA. Then connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the HDMI port on the back of your HDTV. If you have more than one HDMI port on the back of your HDTV, select whichever HDMI port you like. Next, look in your package for the power adapter. Connect the plug to the yellow power port on the back of your DTA like this. Now, plug the power adapter into a working electrical outlet, power strip, or surge protector. Once powered, a blinking green light should appear on the front of your DTA like this. If the green blinking light doesn't appear, please make sure your power adapter is installed properly. Since you have a high definition TV, you will now need to select your input source to HDMI. If you have multiple HDMI inputs, you will have to scroll through the different HDMI sources until you reach the one your DTA is connected to. To do this, find the remote control that came with your TV, turn on your TV, then press the input or source button until you see this screen. You have now selected the correct HDMI input. While the green light on your DTA is blinking, you will continue to see this message on your TV screen while the DTA downloads any needed updates. During the update, your DTA may automatically reset by turning itself off then on again. After the update is complete, your green DTA light may continue blinking and you may see this screen. This is normal. However, if this screen persists for more than 15 minutes without your TV service activating, there may be an issue with your equipment. If so, please call us at 985-693-0123. Your last step for both SD and HD TVs will be to pair the included DTA remote to your newly installed adapter. This will allow you to change channels, adjust the volume, and turn your TV off and on using the included DTA remote control. To begin, make sure the two AA batteries have been inserted. Next, press and hold the setup button on your DTA remote control, located at the bottom left-hand corner of the remote, until the red power light on the remote blinks twice. Next, Press the menu button located at the top right hand corner of the DTA remote. This should prompt a three digit code to appear on your TV screen. Now enter the three digit code using your DTA remote. If the pairing was successful, you will see this message on your TV screen. At this point, you should be able to change the channel and adjust the volume on your TV. The last step is to set up your DTA remote control to turn your TV set on or off. To do this, press and hold the setup button until the red power light blinks twice. Next, press the TV button. The red power light will remain on. Now, using this guide, press and hold the number key for your specific brand of TV. Let go of the key when your TV turns off. Setup is now complete. If you didn't see the brand for your TV, please refer to the Remote Control User's Guide that was included in your DTA kit and look for the section labeled Setup Method B or Setup Method C. Program your DTA remote for your specific TV manually. Note that once you complete these steps, the only way to change channels will be to use the DTA remote control and not your TV remote. You can operate your DTA even when it is hidden from view. If you need further help, you can also refer to the Remote Control User's Guide that came with your DTA remote or call us at 985-693-0123. Once your DTA remote and DTA have been paired, you can use the included adhesive fasteners to attach your DTA to the side or back of your TV. 
Remember, even when hidden from view, the DTA remote should still operate your DTA. Please place your DTA in a location that allows for proper ventilation since the DTA gives off a significant amount of heat. Please refer to the safety information in your DTA manual for more information about properly ventilating your DTA. Congratulations! You have successfully installed your DTA. Please follow these same instructions for each TV that requires a DTA. Also, please take a second to scroll through all of your channels to make sure they are working properly. If you have any questions about your DTA installation or have any missing channels, please call customer support at 985-693-0123. Thank you again for choosing Vision Communications.